Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm updating my project pan for, what is it, month number nine? Here she comes. Yep, like clockwork. She knows. Hi guys. Hi. What are you doing? Welcome to the Freya Show. No, no, don't lick my face. Hello. Hello, yes. Okay. Are we done? You feel like you're getting really comfortable there. I've got some things that are empty, some things that are so close to being empty that I'm just gonna like call them done. I'm gonna finish them, but I'm not gonna bring them back for another update in the project. Um, and I've even got something, actually I've got a couple of things that I'm either pulling out of the project completely or I'm sort of setting aside for a while. We'll talk about it when I get to it. Um, probably the most exciting thing, actually this isn't the most exciting thing, the next thing will be. I finished my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I've been saying for ages that this felt like there wasn't much in there, uh, but it just kept going. It was going and going and going and going. By the end I was like, will you ever end? But it did, one day I went to spray it, I got a tiny bit and then that was it, it was done. So that's great, I'm very glad that I finished that one up. The most exciting thing, now this isn't technically done, it's not. Um, it's actually in, most of it's in here, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Actually no, we'll talk about it now, let's just do it. So Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, I do suspect this might be irritating my skin but it could be a multitude of other things so I don't actually know. Um, what I did was this was the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation and the CYO Matte Foundation. I hated the packaging of this like absolutely hate it. I pulled the stopper out it's a doe foot applique I just I'm not I don't like it okay don't like the packaging. The, the foundation inside is really good. It is definitely probably more full coverage, uh, a little bit too thick for what I'm liking for my skin. I don't know if it sets down matte or if my skin is just sucking every inch of moisture out of it, but it's just, it's too much, right? It's, it's too much for me at the moment. So I started mixing it with this mixture and I decided that I liked it. So instead of mixing them, I filled this up. When I marked it last time, I'd had this much in it. Now I'm here. I filled it all the way to, to the top and I used a little bit. It's now here. I am going to get rid of all of these marks just with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna take a little break. I'm taking a break from everything for a little while because my skin is super mega badly irritated and at first I was like oh my skin is dry um, I need to like pump moisture into it but the moisture it, it doesn't seem to be helping um, and I, I have been using the correct products to do that so I should be seeing results and I see a little bit of improvement especially when I use sheet masks and that's actually making me think that I've fucked up my skin barrier and um, my skin's irritated and not technically dry. What I'm experiencing reminds me a little bit of what happens to me when I use vitamin C products, um, but not quite as bad. So I'm thinking what's going on is actually not dryness, it's like irritation and um, a compromised skin barrier and I need to go back to basics. So I don't actually know if this foundation is like one factor of the issue or if it's just that my skin is too irritated to really deal with this at the moment, but I'm not experiencing nice results when I use it. I did finish up what was in this bottle. There was just a tiny bit at the bottom once I'd filled this up. So I finished that up just so that I could be like, you know, not feeling overwhelmed with foundations. And I'm happy that I've done that, but I don't expect much progress from this next month because I'm pairing things right back. Other things that I finished were uh, the gold foil pack from Pure Smile. All I'm looking for at the moment is soothing and hydration from uh, sheet masks. So I have been trying to use them fairly regularly. Um, this one was fine, although I'm not sure that I would 
buy it again because I think I just prefer a standard sheet mask or a hydrogel. Uh, I also used up this. It's the Etude House Laugh Line Care Patch. I had two of these in the project and I used one and I was like, oh, I think that did something, but I couldn't be too sure. So when I went in to use this the next time, I was looking out for improvements. Yes, this does something. This softens and plumps smile lines. I even, so I put this on my smile lines, left it there for like 10 or 15 minutes, and then I took it and I put it under my eyes and I think it helped there as well. From what I can see, these have actually been potentially discontinued or just very difficult for me to find in Australia, but I think I'm gonna go for a hunt online and see if I can find some because I loved these and uh, yeah, I love them. Like they were so good. Guys, don't, don't go and buy them. They're mine, all right? They're mine. I need them. Um, no, you can. You can go buy some if you can find them. Uh, jojoba oil. This is, look, there's that much in it. I'm not gonna try and get it out. Yeah, I could just open it and like tip it into my hand, but I'm not going to. I don't really like this. I don't feel like it does anything for me. Usually oils are really good when I have a compromised skin barrier because they nourish but help to soothe and heal the skin. This has done nothing for me and I've been using it pretty regularly. Uh, I just wanna go back to like, a rosehip oil I think I think that's what I'm gonna use next and also the reason why I haven't been able to get all of it just organically is because the tube in there doesn't actually hit the bottom I hate that I hate crappy packaging like that it irritates me so that one I'm considering done and I would not buy it again I do also have a few products that just have a couple more uses in them I'm going to show them to you now and that's going to be it. You're not going to see them in this project again. We're considering them done, but I am going to finish them. This one is the Jergens Nourishing Honey Oil Infused Body Moisturizer. Um, so it was there. It's now down there. I reckon I've got one more application in this um, and I will use it because I do like it. I've got some more Jergens Body Moisturizers that I'll get to eventually. I also have the Davines Oi All-in-One Milk. So this one was here. It's now like down here. I might have like, I don't know, five or six uses left in that. It just depends how I choose to use it. If I use it like when I get out of the shower, then I just use a standard amount. But if I decide to use it as like a pre-wash hydrator, if my ends are really like getting bad, which... They're not too bad now. And I've also got Madeline coming in a few days and um, she's going to do my hair and I'm going to get, a, I don't know, like maybe that much cut off. So I probably will use this in a normal way and use it organically, but it'll certainly be finished by the next update. I'm not going to bother bringing it back because I will also then move on to using another product. I have the Cookie Dough Lip Scrub from Lush. I will let you know the weights that these were. So it was 56.51 grams. It's now 46.59 grams. I reckon there's maybe like, I don't know, three, four, maybe five more uses in there. Not much at all. I will finish this one up for sure in, you know, the next maybe two weeks. And then I will move on to my last Lush lip scrub, which uh, is... Sugar Plum Fairy, and that's also in the project. So that's the one you'll see next. My perfume, Trezor Midnight Rose. Oh my God. Guys, it is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like summer is on its way here in Perth and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so I am ready for this to be done skis because I want to move on to something that's more fresh and bright, whereas this is more like, winter warming lovely fragrance but it was there and it's like now down here like it's so close to being done i'm guessing maybe three or four more uses in that so only a couple of days it'll be done probably before the week is out for me let's move on to progress of my other products so i have the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base here 
I don't know what vitamins are in this. Is there vitamin C in this? Maybe. Maybe I should check that. I'm having trouble with this, guys. Major, major trouble. When I put this on, initially, it feels amazing. It's like, oh, yes, hydration, wonderful, give it to me. My skin is screaming for more to drink. But as soon as I then go in with my foundation, it just lifts right off, like straight down to bare skin. And I can't... I can't work out what's going on. I don't know. Usually I put this on and then I do my eyes and then I go in with my base. And I don't know if my skin is like sucking the moisture out of it. And then when I go in with like a sponge with my foundation, it's just lifting off like the silicones and all that jazz that's in this. But I don't, I don't know. I'm just not having a good time with this. I'm going to take it out of the project. I'm going to take a break from it. It sits in my makeup drawer and it haunts me. Every time I do my makeup and I choose not to use it, I feel guilty. And then when I do use it, it completely ruins my makeup. And I'm like, well, what do I do? I've done my eyes. Do I like wash everything off and start again and not use this? Or do I just put up with ugly, patchy, weird looking makeup that I can't make sit on my face? So I think because my skin is just kind of freaking out at the moment best thing to do is set this aside for a little while sort my skin out and then come back to it and decide how I feel about it it might also be that it just doesn't really get along with the Clinique foundation I don't I just don't know so I'm taking it out of the project I'm gonna have a break from it and I'll reassess in the future oh and the weight it was 104.73 grams now 102.8 Four grams. Moving on to my powders. Yes. So the KVD Beauty Blotting Powder. This one was 71.29. It's now 70.64. I've used it a little bit, but also I'm kind of in that awkward position where I'm like, if I'm going to finish one this year, which would I prefer to finish over the other? And it's this one, the Shiseido. So this one, I had it, I'd marked it with a line on the back where it was sitting, but I can't get it to sit properly now. I've used a little bit, but not much. So I opted to weigh it instead. It's coming at 53.95 grams. When I, like if I get it close to looking even, it looks like it's ever so slightly below the line. I don't use much powder these days because my skin is so dry and if I put powder on I'm like oh god I feel like I've just made a very very big mistake. It's like it sucks the moisture out of my face. So I'm gonna keep going with this one. I think this is what I'll focus on and initially I wasn't really loving it but I actually, the more I use it, the more I enjoy it. So I typically use it under my eyes and a little bit sort of here and in my T-zone um, just to take off the shine of everything hydrating that I'm trying to put on my face. Because especially when I sit down here and I've got the filming lights, um, it glows a lot. And I mean, I feel like it looks pretty glowy now, um, but should see it when I don't powder it. My Pat McGrath Labs Intensifies Artistry Wand. This one was 15.6 grams, now 15.49 grams. My God, it's just, I feel like it's never ending. Look, it's great. I do like the product. I'm glad I'm using it. I kind of wish it was getting used up quicker, but you know, I use it in such a small area. So not too much of a surprise there. Uh, my face mist. So I've got Progress on 2. I've got the Shuomura Cypress Makeup Refresher Mist. So this one was there. It's now down here. I was using this as like a hydrator sort of before I went in with skincare after I washed my face and for like setting my face after makeup. And I was having some pretty big skin issues at the time and I was almost wondering if this was not that great for my skin but I don't know why it wouldn't be the ingredients seem okay um so I've kind of pared back and stopped using it because I'm just like I, I don't know like it's really hard for me to to determine what is causing the issue 
I am gonna I'm gonna go to the shops today and I'm gonna pick up a couple of little couple of products um, to use that I think will sort of get me back on track and if they don't then oh, God help me because I don't know what to do um, but until that happens I'm probably not gonna reach for this I'm just gonna take a break from it I've also got the fresh AF energizing mist from fourth ray I've been using this the last couple of days as a mist over my face when I'm not wearing makeup after I've done my skincare if my skin is feeling dry and it just kind of takes the edge off a little bit I don't think it's doing any harm but I will be keeping an eye out and I may even you know stop using this until my skin is back on track it was completely full it's now down here tiny bit of progress let's move on to my other fragrances the one with the progress uh, Soli notes cherry blossom no progress there I was trying to finish this but honestly I just forgot it so often so this is a la vanilla fresh vanilla lemon it was there it's now down here I've been using it just as a room spray I will like spray the couches with it occasionally the mats in the bathroom spritz it around the room every now and then I do forget often I told Chris he's welcome to use it as like a room spray if he feels like it needs a little freshen up um, I'm like just use this one he's like well don't put it with the rest of your perfumes because I won't know what to use which is fair enough but I don't think he actually used it I'm really hoping the next update we'll have that done and maybe I'll have some progress on this one and some of my little samples that I put into the project at the start of the year Glasshouse Rio de Janeiro hand cream so this one was here it is now down here hopefully that will be done by the next update as well <laughs> this one look I have to admit I have been neglecting my hands and feet usually I would put some sort of cream on my feet every night before I go to bed but I just haven't I would say that I haven't really been feeling like they need it usually you know my feet will feel really dry and uncomfortable and then I will put a cream on but they just haven't been um, so I, I haven't been reaching for it I've been trying to remember when I do I use it and I have made some good progress there so I'm happy with that but I would love to get that one done so I can move on to another one of the hand creams that I have sitting in the wings waiting to be used next up uh, Yognog body wash where are you hiding so this one was here it is now down here there is not much left to go I kind of hoped that I would finish it this month but I did not I have already put the last body wash that I have like prepared for the project in my shower to be ready <laughs> to use that it's a lush very very frightening shower gel I'm very excited to have this one done which won't take too long I'm just a bit sad that I didn't pump through it this month next I've got the eco by Sonia driver pink Himalayan salt scrub I really love this it's beautiful it's like it's scrubby particles salt scrubby particles in a balm that emulsifies when it gets wet and it rinses away really well so it was there we're now down here very enjoyable I I would say <clears throat> Uh, I do prefer using like just a, an exfoliating glove in the shower with a, a body wash but this has been really pleasant and I could see myself uh, purchasing it again I think now that the weather is warming up I could probably use this in a way that I think would be best to use it which is get in the shower do all of your stuff um, turn the water off after you're done scrub this all over your body after all the skin is nice and soft then put put the water back on and rinse it off I think that's the best way to use it in winter that's too hard to do because it's bloody cold <laughs> in summer I think it's going to be much easier to use it that way so I look forward to you know experimenting with this more and finding the best way to use it something that I finished that I don't have with me I already showed it in my empties it was the Anihana shower bar I didn't use it as a shower bar I used it as a hand soap I really enjoyed it really nice um, product didn't like dry out my skin smelled great 
all that jazz. I did enjoy it. I probably wouldn't buy it because I went through it so quickly. But uh, that one is done. Moving on to my Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. It was there. It is now down here. This is pretty much my... I've got like two exfoliators. I've got this one and I have the Pixie. Oh, there's Pixie. What is it? I can't remember. It's a physical exfoliator. It's in my shower. They're fine for now. Uh, but I, what I really want to do sort out my skin and then pick up one of the Paula's Choice chemical exfoliants because that's kind of where my love lies and it's the last exfoliating product that I can remember that I felt like was actually doing something really good for my skin. Moving on to my Shuomura Ultimate Cleansing Oil. So she was here. It's now down here. I didn't really use any of my other cleansing oils or balms this month so that's you know consistent use if i keep going the way i'm going probably would be done by the end of the year wait where are we no it'll probably be done by the end of november but i am probably going to take a tiny tiny break from wearing makeup although i can't really do that because i've got to keep doing my eyeshadow project Oh, I don't know. Pixie Glow Tonic. This is another one. I think I'm going to have to take a break from it. Uh, it was there. It's now down here. I don't have any other chemical exfoliants. And I don't... Look, I don't know if it's because my skin is just jacked up. Or if it just doesn't really work for me anymore. But I'm not, I'm not really loving it. I'm not having a great time. Um, I also have the BioEffect EGF 2A Daily Treatment Step 1 and 2. I've stopped using this completely, but I did have a little bit of progress. It was 131.38 grams, now 127.12 grams. I actually suspected that this could be one of the things that was irritating my skin. So it was one of the things that I took out of my routine first. Um, but if my skin barrier has been compromised, then I think... Pretty much anything that I put on my skin with actives in it at this point is going to cause me issues. So I need to go full on back to basics. I think that's the only way I can try to work out what's going on um, and fix it. My last item, this is the Myzon Snail Repair Intensive Gold Eye Gel Patches. I have been using these a bit. I suspect I used maybe eight or even 10 of them this month. I've got like, there's about half a, a tub there left or it appears that half the tub has been used. Last year I used up a tub of like eye patches and I think I finished one this year as well. I don't know, time, I can't, I don't know anything anymore. And I liked them, I don't think I love these. I don't think they really do much for me or maybe it's just cause my skin's jacked up, I don't know. I'm going to keep going with them. I'll finish them, but it's not something I would buy again, essentially. So that is it for my project pan update for September, update number nine. Um, I'm going to go because I know my memory card's going to be full like any second now. Leave your comments down below if you've got anything to say. And uh, shout out to my channel members. Please, card, just hold on a second. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Also, let me know how you're going with your project pans and if you have had a screwed up skin barrier and what you did to repair it. Okay, I'm going. Thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.